Hello and welcome. I'm Mario and today I'm going to talk about a little different topic regarding power stations. Actually, I tried finding other videos about this issue, but I didn't find any, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, the topic I'm talking about is noise or clicking sounds or beeping coming from power stations that are connected to solar panels while the sun is rising or going down. So, to show you what I'm talking about, first uh, I'd like to show you three examples, uh, different examples on what could be happening. So, as it's difficult to simulate sun going up and down, what I'm going to do is I'll use this variable voltage power supply uh, to adjust not only the voltage but also the current coming from the sun uh, to show you what's happening on the power stations. So first of all I switch this one uh, to 18 volts which is about the minimum uh, voltage coming from a solar panel and I'm gonna start off at 0 0.1 amps. So this is kind of the situation Sun is coming up, but uh, there's not a lot of power coming in yet. And not sure if you've heard it already, but the new SMI power station uh, does exactly what I personally would expect. So as soon as there's voltage on the input, the power station powers up. You shortly hear the fans powering up. Uh, let me show you again without me talking. So. I turn off the power station once more and as soon as I activate the output the power station will turn on, do a self-test on the fan and be ready for charging. So while this sound from the fan is rather loud it's a one-time issue so if for example you are camping or you're using it next to your bedroom, uh, this will probably not disturb you very much. But when I now crank up uh, the amperage coming from the input, you see here the power going into the power station increases with no other sound whatsoever. So if I now crank up the amps, same thing happens on the input, wattage goes up, no sounds. Simulating the sun going down, so decreasing amperage coming from the sun, solar panel, whatever, at around 0.15 amps the system stops charging, but again no noise whatsoever, and even if I turn off the output completely, so no voltage anymore on the Output, nothing happens, no sound whatsoever. So now let's try the same with different power stations. So let's start with the Anker 757. Let me quickly connect the power supply here. Same situation as before, 18 volts, no amperage. I activate the output, nothing happens whatsoever, but when I crank up the amperage, I'll do this slowly, the power station recognizes that there is an input and tries to start charging. And what you can hear in the background, I hope it's, it's audible on the video, This is the relay uh, that's trying to decide whether there's enough power coming in from the solar panel to start charging. And it simply judges, no, there's not enough. When we look at the power supply, we see uh, the voltage going down as soon as the, the system starts to draw amperage, because it's limited in my case, but the same would happen on a real solar panel. And the system simply can't decide what to do. 
So if I turn on the amperage higher, let's go to 0 0.1 amp. Now we have a different situation. The system stops switching the relay, but it's not charging yet. So we can see here, oh, okay, it started charging at, point, uh, at 1 amp watt. But when I turn up the amperage higher, we again have the clicking issue until around 0 0.2 amps, where the system really starts taking current. So now it's stopped, the noise is gone. When the sun goes down in the evening, the same in reverse. Let me go back on the amperage. So we still get 1 amp, 1 watt. When I go back on the amps, at some point, rather late, but now at about 0.3 amps, again we have the same situation as before, where the system doesn't know what to do. So in my opinion this is annoying, but still it's not very loud. Yeah? So one more candidate to test. Let me connect the FossiPod. In this case it's the F2400, which I consider a really good power station and I was not aware of this issue until I connected it to a solar panel next to my bedroom with open windows because it's hot outside. But now let me show you what happens on this unit. I turn on the output. 0 0.01 amps, so no power. And when I crank up the amps, now I'm not sure this is audible, but from about 0 0.05 amps, the system tries to spin up the fan. And the higher the amperage, at about 0.18 amps, the system now again tries to start the, the, to activate the relay, same as on the anchor, but much more noisy, and with the added problem, in my opinion, that the fan tries to spin up. So when I now crank it up further, the first difference we see is the fan is trying to spin up for longer, and at about 0.28 amps, the system finally, it takes a bit, but it should now finally decide, yeah, now it did. Now it turned on the display and it shows that it's charging at 2 watts. And one more thing I find <laughs> strange on the FossiPod, I have the same issue on the two, uh, 3600 unit. Uh, when the input is very very low, so in this case 2 watt, it shows a state of charge of 188% and one minute remaining for charging, independent of the actual state of charge. Only when the input gets higher, so I think on this unit it's about point, yeah, 0.45 uh, amps in this case, now the system again starts spinning up the fan, but still not enough to really start it up. And yeah, right about now, I think, finally, maybe it needs a bit more. So it's already showing that it's inputting, in this case, uh, 8 watts, but the state of charge indication is still completely wrong. And only when the input goes higher, I think about above, yeah, only when the input uh, exceeds 10 watts, then the state of charge will suddenly jump to the correct value 
and also the indication of charging or discharging time will be correct. So again, also on this unit, let me show you what happens in the evening when the sun goes down. So let's decrease the power going in. So no input anymore, but the system still detects a voltage coming in. Okay, in this case we didn't get the system to deactivate the relay, uh, only now it did when the voltage dropped. So one thing I found is that when the system is already powered on, and the relay is already activated. Then the clicking noise will not uh, occur again. So when I increase the voltage again, Okay, now we should start exceeding 10 watts. So, but what you can see is that the system is still, let's say, prepared. Uh, it's not switching the relay anymore. So, this issue should only happen once a day uh, in the morning when the sun comes up. But still, if you are living in your van or on a campsite or whatever and you keep uh, solar panels permanently connected so that the system starts charging automatically in the morning this is something that can definitely wake you up i tried it with the f3600 i had it on my balcony next to the bedroom with open windows and it really was very very annoying the only thing keeping it from waking me up was the fact that i already was awake but uh this is an issue, in my opinion, uh, that should be included in power station reviews also when other people are doing it, because in my opinion this is a deal breaker, yeah? depending on your use of course. If you only plan on connecting solar panels during the day anyway, when you are already up, it won't matter. Uh, but if you want to keep them permanently connected and you have them next to some a uh, place where you are sensible on noise, uh, it could really be a, a big issue. And I did not only do this test on these three power stations, I also tested the Power Oak slash Blue Eddy AC200P. No issue there. There seems to be either there is no relay or it is very silent and definitely not switching on and off all the time. I tested the F3600, of course, and I also tested uh, a cheap Chinese uh, power station, which I already have from three or four years ago. I can't even remember the, the, the name, and I think it's not available anymore. But again, this one also does not seem to have a, a relay, same as the new SMI. So also no issue there. So out of these six power stations I tested personally, three do have this issue and free down. So if you are susceptible to noise issues, make sure uh, you find out before you buy. Uh, also, I have a friend of mine that's got uh, an All Powers, uh, what's the name, All Powers S2000, I think, yeah? And it also has the same issue as the Fossipod with the relay clicking on and off all the time. Uh, so also there I can confirm, sorry, let me turn this one off. Uh, there I can confirm that the issue also exists there. 
So I'll try to get into contact with. Sorry about the noise. I'll try to get into contact with other people doing power station reviews uh, to see if this can be included uh, in their tests because I consider it, for me personally at least, I consider it an important factor for a purchase decision uh, and if you agree please uh, leave a comment so I have some bargaining power to, so to say. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and maybe come back next time when I have a new video. Thank you. Bye.